How's life? I'm Kai Vigner and today I'm off to the YouTube space for a celebration, I think. It's called YouTube Black. I know a few people from LSY, they got in as well, so I'm really excited to see them. It should be fun, me new people, just having a fun time. and I manage this lovely facility that you've all come along to, so thank you for coming. How many of you have been here before? Wait, thank you all for coming. This is the second time we've done a, an event to celebrate YouTube Black. Uh, the first time, we had 90 people. Today, we've got about 200. Thank you. Anyway, I won't spend too much time, but now, without further ado, I want us to welcome the MC for this evening, um, who is a renowned comedian, very funny, um, it's Eddie Caddy. Hello, hey, hey, hey. Hi everyone. Hey. How you guys doing? You alright? Yeah. I think I think we need to do that again because I feel like I deserve a song to come on to, man. Like, this don't make no sense. How are you gonna have a DJ and I don't get no song to say this? Don't take the piss. Let's, let's try again. Right. <laughs> Now I'm going to welcome everyone to the stage, our MC for the evening, fantastic comedian, Eddie Caddy! Wow, what an intro, I didn't expect that at all. Thank you, Thank you so much, it's so much. Make some noise for Mercedes though. I like that picture, that's a nice picture, man. It's a nice picture, I hope to stay like that forever. I'm really happy to be here, man, because first of all, it says YouTube Black. So apparently last year there was 90 people, right? And a lot of people were talking about, you know, they want to be celebrated. A lot of the guys who have their channels and stuff, of course, YouTube has catered for you. Make some noise for YouTube space, man. So make absolutely. And, and secondly, because I'm African, and I'm proud. Any Africans in the building? One or 
two, one or two, one or two. Who, who here is from, from uh, Congo? I'm alone. I am alone. This is so wrong. I need to speak to immigration in this country. This can't keep happening. This can't keep happening. How come, you know, when Africans are asked like that, Dad, we don't dance the same as the Caribbean. What's going on here? And my dad said, Eddie, the, the reason why we dance because we have things to do. <laughs> Africans have things to do. We do, we, we, we multitask. We can see it from the way we do. We don't, we don't play. <laughs> Caribbean people are more relaxing. They just ski. I don't understand the ski. You don't know how, you don't know how snow in Jamaica, but you like skiing. Like... <laughs> I never get that. I never get that. But you've got to celebrate culture, man. Act one. Woo! Yeah, I like that, I like that. It could be a little bit louder. I just feel, I just feel like some people are too busy filming. <laughs> right, to you, it's filming. Tap your camera, tap your camera. Please put your hands together. Go crazy for Chilingo! Thank you, boy. How you looking tonight? You good? Yeah. How you looking tonight? You good? Yeah. I'm proud to. I'm proud to be. I'm proud to be black. How you feeling? Coconut oil for your team. That's black your magic. That black your magic. That black your magic. That black your magic. Hey. That black your magic. 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 Black your magic. That black your magic. That black your. That black your. Hi everyone. Hey. Um, so I apologize, I'm not wearing glasses, right? So I can only see it's about you. So um, what I'm gonna do now, so as I said, my name is Tophead, but my channel name, Twitter, a little bit of a shout out is Sincerely Tops. Um, so like they said, we've got some beautiful women for this panel discussion today. So the first lady I'm going to introduce is a YouTube OG. Like, we all know that YouTube's been around for a long time. Now, this lady is one of the pioneering founders of YouTube. Grace Victory, she is a blogger, blogger, author, and body positive activist. Give it up for Grace. I think we can clap a bit better now. We have Jessica Huey MBE. She is the founder of Colorblind Cards and JHPR, and she's also the author of Purpose, which is out next year in April. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> the next beautiful black woman I'm gonna call is Esther Falana. She yes, is Esther. the CEO of S Beauties and a little show called Back Chat London. She's a <laughs> cast member and she's also a mother. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Next is a writer and social media coordinator for Galdem, and she's also the co-founder of the Black Girl Festival, Paula Akpan. Thank you. And then our final panelist is a social media influencer and YouTube extraordinaire, Mimi Misfit. So how's everyone doing? Good. Great. Good. Good. Yeah. In your personal lives. Um, so what was the worst and how did you address it? Anyone can go first. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe not the worst, but one of the most memorable was uh, I was oh, so I do Black Girl Festival, which is next weekend. Woo! Um, but I also work in comms and I worked at uni and we had a work night out and um, so everyone's a bit waved and we're dancing and this woman that everyone's warned me about comes over and is like oh you dance so well and i was just kind of like i mean i'm just moving my body and trying to use it but can't and then <laughs> she was like yeah just how did jamaicans just dance so well and i was just kind of sat there like okay it's friday night we're really close like to the lord's day like <laughs> not five this woman today um, and I was just like no I'm half Trinidadian half Nigerian um, um, and then she was like yeah yeah but they're all the same aren't they <laughs> my team I was shook and I was just I think it was one of those moments where you're kind of like I just I don't know if I have the energy to actually go on you right now 
thankfully my manager is she's a white woman but she's safe and um, she was waved as well she was off her face so she turned around and was like that is the most ignorant thing I've ever heard she started screaming in the bar and I was just like I don't even have to do the aggressive black woman thing I'm yeah. just sitting back and just like you you do your you talk to your people um, and yeah it wasn't necessarily the worst but it definitely stuck in my mind that someone could just kind of come at you and think that I'm telling you I'm on two different continents but they're all the same so that was one of them. Um, I would say, um, my one is, um, it was when I was at university, I had uh, my daughter while I was at university in my final year. I remember when I found out I was pregnant, I was really scared because, um, first of all, I was in my final year. Esther, I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, Esther, Guys, do you, need me, do you need my help? I'll yeah. tell them to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, so I was at university, I was in my final year, and I remember when I found out I was pregnant, um, I was so scared, and my biggest fear was the fact that I couldn't, I wouldn't finish my university degree. Um, so what had happened was, I remember I went to go and see my lecturer, I sat down with her and I said, hi, uh, like basically, um, I'm pregnant, I do want to finish this final year, I believe I can finish this final year, because I have support, you know, and I, I know I can do it. Now, um, I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say she discriminated, but she the odds were against me she didn't believe I could achieve and I would achieve she but she actually said if you did continue you will fail now um, I said not me not me sir <laughs> not me sir so obviously I spoke to my mum about it and I remember thinking like mom like I do not want to be a woman that uh, I don't being black as well a black woman is in her final year she's pregnant i'm not married and then to top it up i've now failed at university like you know i've i've struggled the last two years i'm in my final year please 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 like how am i going to do this because it almost was like i had to listen to what she said or else they would kick me out anyway so as much as i don't agree on lying i kind of did lie about my expectance date so i was like pushing it like i'm due in february when really i was due in january but it's because i was really pushing i really wanted to complete my university now best believe i had my daughter in january i took two weeks out and i went back to uni and i graduated and yes! four years old she's gonna be five she's yes. my biggest blessing so one thing I'll say is that when odds are against you and they tell you you can't do something always believe you can yeah. because I achieved and I'm doing well and I've got a 2-1 as well yeah. so life I don't remember having like direct discrimination against me but when I was younger so my mum's white and my dad's black um, we were like I think it was in Tesco I was about 10 years old and this, my mum was talking to this random woman at the tills and she said, oh, your children are quite clean for being a mixed race. Oh. And you know, people are like, like, I was 10, so I clocked on, but I don't think it hit me until I was like older. And my mum like obviously lost her shit. Oh, can I swear? <laughs> my mum like lost her shit. Um, and that was the, like, the biggest thing that I remember growing up about discrimination, but I think I've been quite lucky. Um, I call it light skin privilege. I don't, I've never had like direct discrimination apart from that. Um, so yeah, that's my story. Thank you for sharing. I think, I mean, I've definitely shared some of your experiences. First of all, I'm not entirely sure why I'm here because I'm most definitely a woman. <laughs> my daughter is almost 19. So I was 18, 17 when I became a mum. So I really relate to your story because I was just coming up for 18 when I went back to college and I had just dropped out of my A-levels and, and I went back to this college and said, you know, I'm ready to get back into education and the course overseer said, well, if you, if you do your A-levels now with a baby, the maximum you're going to get is a D, is two Ds, which isn't going to give you enough points to go to university. And I was so determined that I decided actually that wasn't going to be my reality. So I, I really relate to that, but actually the more senior I've become, it's, it's the um, discrimination is much more subtle. And it's often less about, um, again, being mixed. I'm acutely aware that depending on how I style my hair, you know, if I'm having a curly day or I'm blowing my hair out or if I'm wearing a head wrap, I'll be received completely differently. And I think it's important to recognise that because my experiences are not the same as my best friend who's Ghanaian and dark skin. So, you know, I recognise that. But at the same time, often the discrimination is much more about where I'm from. So my socioeconomic status, being a working class girl who grew up in an estate, 
you know, has often been the thing that I don't share in common with my other senior leaders. I didn't go to private school. Um, my dad was a minicab driver, came here in the Windrush years. It's those things which sort of can leave you outside of the, the, the clique, if you like. Um, so it's not always on the surface, but, but equally, they still have scars. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Maybe have you got anything to add? Yeah, so um, when I graduated uni, I straight away got a graduate role, and it was a very corporate role, suit and tie, booted. And I remember the first day I got there, my name's Elizabeth on paper, and I'm not gonna lie, I use my mum's last name, because her name's Turner, and it just helps a lot more than using my dad's Ghanaian, very Ghanaian name. So I got there, and she was like, um, the lady that interviewed me, done, sorted, passed me over to my manager, and I got in the elevator with him, and he was like, Elizabeth Turner. Like, he was shocked to see me, and I was like, yeah. And I started with another girl called Sophie, and he was like, Okay, Elizabeth. So, where are you from? I said I'm from South East London, Peckham. <laughs> and you know when they hear Peckham, it's already. I used to live in Peckham, so I was like, I'm from Peckham. And he was like, Wow, you've done well for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to Sophie. Said nothing to Sophie. Obviously, she's British, and um, didn't ask her no questions. And I said I have to say something. I couldn't. And I said, What do you mean by I've done well for myself? He said, well, you know, considering, I said, considering what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was my first day, so instantly, I, I, that was in the elevator going up, and as soon as those doors opened, I felt like, okay, Mimi, this is it now. Like, you're already being like, do you know what I mean? Lady, just to give everybody one piece of advice, very short and brief, on how to navigate through this world, this terrible, sometimes awesome world, one piece of advice. Self-belief will get you places nothing else can. Thank you. No one is you and that's your power. Um, I would just say, um, stay positive and stay true to yourself and always stay and um, believe in your abilities and don't ever lack in what you believe you can do. Yeah. Work and collaborate with your friends. Yeah. Um, black people, educate yourself. Yeah. Anything that we've been taught, from primary school, secondary school, yeah. history, everything, educate yourself. Double check what everyone said and then do your own research on top of that. Yes. That's the, it has to start with our education because that's that video, that um, word on the curve, that is all facts, what they're spitting right there. Yeah. Educate yourself from who, we're not, we, 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 we're not, we didn't just, well, we wasn't just born slaves. Yeah. We're not just a slave, do you know what I mean? Learn what we were before we were slaves. <laughs> learn about morals, learn about, just educate yourself more than what primary school history taught us. That's yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just want to say on behalf of everyone here, thank you so much for participating in today's yeah. panel. I'm sure we've all learned one or two things from these lovely ladies. So once again, can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> Some spoken word coming up. It's a very, very talented human being. Yeah, so please well. lend them your ears. Make some noise. Put your hands together. Show some love. Pay some attention to me and a West in the building. <laughs> One more time for me and West. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Thank you for like trying to keep everyone quiet. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. It's all out. It scorns me to know we still show self-hatred in places we're not ready to admittedly face yet. Hair is just one of them, but in this one I won't back down. I wear my hair fitted like a crown on top. You're on social media, right? How can they get in contact with you and find you? Yeah, search um, Mina West. I, I believe I come up on everything. I wasn't that smart and like, one's like Mina, I'm just aware. One's Mina West something something. But just search that name and hopefully I come up. Attention, 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 shh. Won't you help to sing? These songs of freedom. Daddy. Are you proud of me? See, sending money and spending time is not the same thing. Because mum played that while you're looking off.
channel mo? So, our channel, the one in the CVS, the one in the Philippines. Our channel is called Lada Good Studios. So, basically, we have events that we have events that we have events that we have events that we have YouTube space and it was awesome like not gonna lie it was really awesome had a really great time there was a ton of stuff and I met quite a few people which was really cool um, and yeah that's why I love these events because you know sometimes you never know what to expect and you get to meet so many incredible people and get to see so many incredible things so yeah so thanks YouTube you're amazing and gave another goodie bag so thanks for that <laughs> um, so yeah uh, today I'm off to so now that the party's still going on but um, as much as I would like to stay for the whole thing I kind of um, got this to edit and got a bunch of other stuff to do make sure you subscribe if you're brand new as always don't forget to hit the big thumbs up leave all your comments down in the comment section below go check out everyone that's been in this vlog because every one of them are amazing check out them show some love and that's it um, show some love and all that stuff make sure you share this video with all your friends that they can join in the fun that's it from me to peace